Hi, welcome to Tech Trick Tutorial. Today we're going to show you Leonardo AI Train Model. Train your own custom models. It's a step-by-step -step beginner guide for everyone to follow easily. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Now let's get right into it. Now in today's video, we will be focusing on models when we will be using to generate image. Now what are models? Now when you go to the AI image generation section over here, you will see this option over here wherein you will be able to choose what version or what model Leonardo.ai will use. Now each model has its different functions. As you can see here, we have the default versions like the Dream Shaper V5, Leonardo Diffusion, Creative, Select, Signature, Stable Diffusion 1.5, Stable Diffusion 2.1, and your select custom model over here. When you select a specific model over here, for example, let's go to select custom model, go to platform models over here. As you can see, there are different versions over here. An example of a model or how a model works is using is it will use a series of photos as a basis to create a specific design for you to use. For example, we have our vintage style photography over here. If we use this model, any output that we will be creating will produce a vintage style to it. So for example, we click this and then click on generate with this model and then type in whatever information or whatever prompt that we have. For example, walking down the deep forest and this is an example of the prompt. We will be able to receive a photo or an output that has a vintage tint or a vintage tone to the photo. As you can see here in this image, we have a vintage style created into it. Now. Each model has its own instant prop, as you can see here, meaning it will have a keyword that will be used in your prompt to indicate that you would like to activate the specific model. And in today's video, we will be teaching you how you can create your own custom model. Now, creating your own custom model is very easy. You're simply going to go back to your homepage over here and look over here on the left side. You have your training and data sets over here. You're simply going to select this and then over here you could click on new data sets and you can simply name it over here you could name it anything that you want it depends on you and then you have your description over here then simply click on create data set now after doing that you're going to have to upload data set image now when generating or creating a data set image it is suggested that you use at least 8 to 15 images now what are these images for? It will use that image as a basis. Like I said earlier, models are used to create a specific style on how Leonardo would generate an image. So in the dataset image over here, for example, you could generate or you could upload photos of a photorealistic image or like high quality image, stuff like that. Any, any image that you are thinking of, but it has to be similar to each other. It has to be 8 to 15 photos to work best and for example over here we have our gallery search over here you can simply search for anything you want but for example we have this output over here like a sticker design you could use this as a basis on how Leonardo should produce images so for example we have those four images over here now I did say that we're going to have to use at least 15 images but right now we don't have that much so we're going to stick with this for one and after this, you're simply going to click on train model. By doing this, it will train the model that you will be using. And now over here, this is where you will be able to edit the training settings. As you can see, we have our model name. We could say our model name is called sticker because our images are having like a sticker effect with the white layout or the white outline. And we have your model description over here, then training resolution base model which is the options are 1.5 and the 2.1 and then you have your categories over here you could choose what type of category this is you could choose from building characters environment illustration for example we're going to go with illustration or a vector actually you could go with vector and you have your insert prop over here so we could say sticker this will be like i said earlier the keyword that will activate this specific model and you can simply click on start training and then it will start training our model and it will send you an email when it is completed and you can simply click on view status over here if you would like to see the status now depending on the size of your training job 
it will take uh, anywhere from 30 minutes to a few hours depending on how many images you have uploaded. So you simply click on view status and as you can see here it is currently processing and then after this is processed you will be able to use it on generating your image. So for example going back here to AI image generation you can click on the models over here select custom models and then in this section on your model this is where you will be able to find the models that you have created on your own you also have your favorite models over here and your platform models over here now to be able to use your model it's going to be the same process of what oh, i'm going to show you right now for example we're going to use this model over here a battle axe simply click on generate with this model and it will use this model over here now let's check what is the keyword for this one let's go back to select model custom model over here and let's look for the axe now the instant prop is the word axe over here so we're simply going to generate our axe over here so let's say a burning obsidian axe and have the axe as a keyword and then click on generate and then it will generate our image over here based on the model being used over here. Now the model consists of a lot of images like I said earlier which will be used as a reference for what type of image will be generated. And as you can see here we have our output over here. Although not the best we could simply generate it once again to generate as another image. But as you can see you get the point it will use a basis on what it should look like. And we could try this once again. Let's try with this one. Generate and let's see how it would look like and it's going to take some time depending on your prompt and because if you have a lot of prompt it will take a longer period of time and as you can see we have another output over here i really like this one over here although it, it did not get the obsidian material that i have indicated it's still present over here the shape or you could really notice that it is created out of a bottle axe over here now we could go and select another custom model over here you maybe you could go to the community models which is created by the community you have anime girls over here uh painting style over here flag and all of this option it's look through the different options that are available over here that we could try and use as a basis for our output for example this one over here simply click this and the uh, instant prop is smooth anime style let's copy this generate with this model and we're simply going to say a girl running through the streets then paste the smooth anime style over here which is the instant prop click on generate and then it will generate as an image based on our prompt based on the fine-tuned model over here now remember when you're doing this you're going to have to select your own custom model which will be found on your your models over here as you can see our models is now available actually we're going to test this out after this one and it generated a bit of gibberish style over here so let's go and use our own custom model we're going to view this generate with this model and then let's say a uh, coffee mug floating then click on generate and let's see what output will be generated with the model that we have just created over here despite having only four images as a basis. Let's see if we will be able to use or have the image basis as a reference or if we will be able to see the resemblance of our fine-tuned model with our output over here. That's going to take a while. It's, it took longer than all of them and as you can see this is our output over here although i don't see the resemblance of the photos that we have generated but as you can see it still looks very good and i really like all of the, this too actually and maybe i guess you would need a lot of photos to really get your idea to get your style into the model so i suggest that you use a lot of images for your output or for when you're creating your own custom model and that's it guys, hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.